Vomiting, or emesis, is a complicated reflex action involving coordination of the respiratory, gastrointestinal, and abdominal musculature, all controlled by the vomiting center, or VC. The VC is located in the lateral reticular formation of the medulla oblongata. Emesis can be caused by a multitude of factors, such as unpleasant sights, smells, or ideas, pregnancy, pain, drugs, and increased intracranial pressure, to name a few. Stimuli from several areas within the central and peripheral nervous system affect the VC. These include the vestibular system, which sends information to the brain via the cranial nerve or the vestibulocochlear nerve, which plays a major role in motion sickness and is rich in muscarinic receptors and histamine H1 receptors. The vagus nerve conveys sensory information about the state of the body's organs to the central nervous system. The vagus nerve is also activated when the pharynx is irritated, leading to the gag reflex. The vagal and enteric nervous systems transmit information regarding the state of the gastrointestinal system. Irritation of the GI mucosa by chemotherapy, radiation, distension, or acute infectious gastroenteritis activates the 5-HT3 receptors. Nerve impulses from the chemoreceptor trigger zone, or CTZ, in the area prostrema, or AP, also affect the VC. The area prostrema is a vascular area on the floor of the fourth ventricle where the blood-brain barrier is incomplete, and thus it can be activated by chemical stimuli received through the blood and the cerebrospinal fluid. The AP is modulated by dopamine, histamine, acetylcholine, and serotonin receptors. Dopamine receptors are prominent in the vertebrate central nervous system. They have key roles in many processes, including the control of motivation, learning, and fine motor movement, as well as modulation of neuroendocrine signaling. It is the classic receptor involved in emesis. Dopamine antagonists act in the brain and are used to treat nausea and vomiting associated with neoplastic disease, radiation sickness, opioids, cytotoxic drugs, and general anesthetics. Common D2 receptor antagonists are metaclopramide, domperidone, droperidol, and prochlorperazine. They work by inhibiting the activity of dopamine at the D2 receptor in the chemoreceptor trigger zone, thereby limiting the emetic input to the medullary vomiting center. Domperidone and droperidol both work by blocking dopamine receptors. 5-HT receptors are found in the area prostrema, cerebral cortex, hippocampus, the gut mucosa, nerve endings, and primary afferent nerve fibers. Examples of 5-HT receptor antagonists are odansetron, dolacetron, and granisetron. For example, granisetron, dolacetron, and odansetron all reduce the activity of the vagus nerve, the nerve that activates the vomiting center in the medulla oblongata, and also blocks the serotonin receptors in the chemoreceptor trigger zone. These are agents that reduce the activity of the muscarinic acetylcholine receptor. The muscarinic receptors are found in the plasma membranes of certain neurons and other cells. These receptors are used in the parasympathetic nervous system, which controls the actions of smooth muscle contraction, glandular secretion such as salivary and gastric secretions, and relaxation of sphincters, among other actions. Examples of muscarinic receptor antagonists are scopolamine and atropine. Scopolamine reduces the activity of the muscarinic acetylcholine receptor, which controls smooth muscle contraction and inhibits glandular secretion. Atropine blocks the actions of the vagus nerve and blocks the acetylcholine receptor site, which controls smooth muscle contraction and inhibits glandular secretion. 
H1 receptors are expressed throughout the body, specifically in smooth muscles, on vascular endothelial cells, in the heart, and in the central nervous system. Their main functions are an ileum contraction, modulation of the circadian cycle, systemic vasodilation, and bronchoconstriction. Examples of antagonists are cyclozine, diphenhydramine, dimenhydrinate, meclizine, promethazine, and hydroxazine. Diphenhydramine and hydroxazine block the effect of histamine at peripheral H1 receptor sites. It is also an anticholinergic agent which reduces the effects mediated by acetylcholine on acetylcholine receptors in neurons and thus controls smooth muscle contraction and inhibits glandular secretion similar to the muscarinic receptor antagonists. Also known as the tachykinin receptor, NK1 receptors are G-protein coupled receptors found in the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. It is present in neurons, brain stem, vascular endothelial cells, muscle, gastrointestinal tracts, genitourinary tract, pulmonary tissue, thyroid gland, and different types of immune cells. The binding of SP, a neuropeptide, to the NK1 receptor has been associated with the transmission of stress signals and pain, contraction of smooth muscles and inflammation. SP is synthesized by neurons and transported to synaptic vesicles and then released. When NK1 receptors are stimulated, they can generate various second messengers, which can trigger a wide range of effector mechanisms that regulate cellular excitability and function. Examples are a prepotent and casopotent. A prepotent blocks the NK1 receptor located at the brainstem nuclei of the dorsal vagal complex, which is a crucial part of the regulation of vomiting. SP is responsible for sending and receiving impulses to and from the brain to the vomiting center of the brain where SP is in high concentration. By blocking the NK1 receptor, SP is reduced, thereby reducing the signal and the feeling to vomit.